At UFC 257, Dustin Poirier became the first man to knock out Conor McGregor. It was a hell of a fight, a hell of a night, and it's safe to say, the diamond left a solid shock in front of our screens. To relive that unforgettable moment, just watch. The fight's... The fight starts. Right away, Poirier's game plan for the stand-up is revealed, as he lands an inside leg kick on the pressuring Connor. The left can't land with no base, and Dustin's immediately looking to counter it with the right hook. This time it whiffs, but it will be a key shot throughout the fight. 15 seconds in, Poirier tries to land another low kick on the outside calf this time, but Connor, in his usual super wide stance, is ready to move out of the way in the heartbeat before putting on the pressure again. But unlike the last match between the two, Poirier was not letting McGregor enter the pocket without paying for it. With jabs and leg kicks, he made sure that Connor wouldn't sneak inside with his full equilibrium. For example here, both men go for the jab at the same time. Although Dustin doesn't land hard, his strike messes up McGregor's position just enough so that the left hand can't reach its target. The diamond is fully aware of that massive threat and after slipping it precisely, he responds furtively with his go-to punch. Then, he goes for the huge level change overhand, ducking under the left hand counter to finish the takedown. The surprised McGregor manages to get his back on the fence and uses it to get back to his feet in the clinch. This is where Connor does not want to be early in the fight. Poirier is forcing him into a grueling position that will inevitably make him lose some of his precious explosiveness. But Connor gains confidence with the shoulder strikes and instead of separating at the first chance he gets, he stays inside the clinch and lands some nice knees to the body. When he finally attempts to escape, Dustin quietly grabs the single collar to keep him there, but the elbow ultimately sets the Notorious free, with a minute 40 left to go. And now, the left hand should start landing, because Connor's bread and butter is on the table. This is what should give him the victory. He's trying to mess with Dustin's perception, looking to mask his maximum range. When the time's right, he wants to use that type of jab to hide his footwork and get inside the pocket undetected where the touch of death can be applied. Connor is finding his range, he's comfortable. Dustin's not even able to take him down with the same technique anymore. Plus, Connor has now found a way to deal with the check hook. He baits Dustin with the left hand, and once Poirier bites, McGregor keeps his head far to the side to evade the right hook, and he can land a beautiful lead uppercut on Dustin's chin. Connor is finding his shots in the boxing range. He goes for a big one too, but Dustin disrupts his attack with a sneaky calf kick using excellent protection to block Connor's now unbalanced left hand strike. Right after that, Poirier sees McGregor coming in with another 1-2 and utilizes good defense to slip the left. Connor is following with the lead uppercut again, putting all of his weight on his right leg. But this time, Dustin actually delays his right hook counter, hiding it exceptionally well with the special arm defense. He tags Connor, and he lets him know too. The diamond's still in the fight. Boom. Debilitating calf kick lands for Poirier. Boom, another one, partially checked. All of a sudden, the Notorious is walking a bit gingerly on that lead leg. Boom, again, just before the horn. Right after the break, Poirier continues to invest in Irish calf industries, chopping his opponent's legs up like Christmas trees. Connor doesn't know how to deal with that weapon. He tries to catch it, or partially check it, but it seems like Dustin still hurts him every single time. However, McGregor looks dangerous as ever, doing what he does best, hiding his step with the jab, following with the straight left. Dustin is very aware of what's going on. Once he sees Connor miss, he tries to make space for himself by circling out. But look at what happens here. McGregor immediately cuts Dustin off and moves back to the center of the octagon, just like he always does. Boom. Clean left. Poirier eats it, but his back's against the wall. He sees Connor coming in with the big left hand and disrupts his attack with yet another calf kick while the totality of Connor's weight is resting on that leg. The unbalanced right uppercut is countered precisely. Dustin has won the exchange by a landslide and he decides to circle out to make space for himself. Something's wrong. Connor is not cutting him off. He's letting him move freely. McGregor never lets someone take the center of the octagon. Unless... Dustin's eyes light up. The diamond promptly becomes the one putting on the pressure. 
he paused with the lead hand, and Connor reacts by dipping his body to the left. His footwork is severely compromised, he needs to move his head, cause if not, he's a sitting duck. Dustin throws the left, and again, his opponent dips to the side, revealing a tendency. And here comes a barrage, clean shot after clean shot, Connor's in a terrible spot, dead nerves and muscle, the knees buckle, he wants to move out of trouble, but a useless leg's gonna double the struggle. Dustin follows the escapee, not giving him any sort of chance, taking the outside foot by sneakily, switching to an orthodox stance. Poirier's right hand is now on his power side, he knows Connor's got nowhere to go. He also knows how the Irishman's gonna move once they get close. As predicted, McGregor dips to his own left. Unrestricted, Dustin intercepts him viciously, hitting the reset button on his forehead. Time stops. What's going on? This is crazy. Nothing equals that moment's intensity. The diamond unleashes devastation, right on the perfect location. Struck by the blow, the head snaps. Dustin Poirier just made a superstar collapse. What a win for Poirier. I have to say, I underestimated him, but it made the upset even more unbelievable. Thank you, Dustin. I will take the memory of this moment to my grave. Props to Connor also for taking the feat so gracefully. Props to you for watching the video till the end. If you liked it, you know what to do. Alright, see ya.